toe deformities. Hammer toe, claw toe, mallet toe. Deformities of the toes are not uncommon. They can occur from muscle imbalance or other causes such as rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, compartment syndrome, synovitis, or neurological disorders. Hammer toe, flexion of the PIP joint. The PIP is flexed and the metatarsophalangeal joint is extended. You can see here in this diagram flexion of the PIP joint and the extension of the metatarsophalangeal joint. Hammer toe is similar to boutonniere deformity of the finger. How about claw toes? Claw toe resembles a pyrex hook. Let us see what happens to the three joints, the metatarsophalangeal joint, the PIP joint, and the DIP joint. In claw toes, there will be extension of the MTP joint and flexion of the PIP and DIP joint, similar to the shape of a pirate hook. Claw toes is similar to intrinsic minus deformity of the hand. This is a picture of intrinsic minus deformity of the hand. It's called claw hand. How about mallet toe? It is just flexion of the DIP joint. It is similar in appearance to a mallet finger. Here is a picture representing the three deformities, the hammer toe, the claw toe, and the mallet toe. The hammer toe is similar to boutonniere deformity of the finger. The claw toe deformity resembles a pirate hook, and the mallet toe is similar in appearance to a mallet finger. Here is a clinical picture of claw toes. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.